James Cousins and creative producer Francesca Mosley set up the James Cousins company in 2012. With the company, James explores new ideas with his team of collaborators and tours his critically acclaimed productions throughout the UK and internationally. Since winning the inaugural New Adventures Choreographer Award in 2012, James is quickly making his mark on the dance world, recognized as one of the future faces of dance and creating new productions across the world. James Cousins and his team hope to create high-quality, compelling dance productions that inspire and entertain audiences by transporting them into unique worlds on stage. Hello, welcome to uh, On The Mic of VTV4 and um, this is the first time you come to Vietnam, how do you feel? We loved it, as soon as we arrived we, like, we felt the atmosphere was great, um, we were very excited to be here, it's, uh, none of us have been to Vietnam before so we're all really pleased to be here. Could you please introduce a little bit about yourself to the TV audience? My name is James Cousins, I'm from London in the UK and I've been I'm a choreographer based there and dancer as well. Um, I have my own company, which we've been now been working for two years, and um, this is our first proper like, international tour. So what are you going to bring to the audience in Hanoi during this tour? The two pieces are both inspired by Haruki Murakami's Norwegian Wood, which is a very, um, it's a very sad novel, it's a very dark novel, but it's also very um, tender and beautiful. And it has really deep characters with lots of a lot of emotion between them and so aren't trying to put the essence of the book and the essence of these characters and these people and try and um, create that atmosphere on stage. Without stars and there we have been, both have received great appreciation since their premieres in the UK. And this is the first time that they have been performed in James Cousins' international tour. James takes the themes of love, loss and friendship from the Norwegian wood, adding his own unique quality to create a rich and powerful dance for the two works. And the successful performances outside the UK once again reaffirms James' talent, which has gained him outstanding achievements in recent years. So tell me more about the performance uh, this time. Uh, how can you have the inspiration to make these art performances? This book has such strong relationships between the characters and really, really interesting relationships as well. So that's what drew me to want to work with it. Um, in terms of translating the book to the stage, that was, it's been a long process and we just take a very little bit of the book that, that inspired that piece and then the second piece looks at a bit more of the, a longer arc of the story um, to give a bit more insight into the characters. So how long does it take you to complete these uh, dances? For this story we had six weeks to create um, a 45 minute piece and also for the new dancers to learn the duet as well because uh, it's a new cast doing it. So yeah, six weeks to put it all together and rehearse it. But as I said, it's ongoing as well. Like on the tour, we're constantly developing it and tweaking it and changing it. What are the destinations that you have brought the performances to? And what are the feedbacks from the audience there? We premiered in the UK and then we flew to the Philippines. We performed in Manila. Then we then went to uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and now we're here. All the feedback was really really great and we had you know lots of people wanting to come up to us and talk to us which was really nice and not just me the dancers as well so yeah we all felt a really warm reception so I'm excited to see what's going to happen here. The whole show took place in low lighting but the audience could still catch up with every movement of dancers felt all the feelings the dancers expressed through the dance moves James Cousins and his dancers successfully brought the audience a feast for their eyes and ears. It's absolutely fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. I love modern ballet, but this was just so good. Really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Fantastic. 
it's such a great opportunity to be able to see something like this in Hanoi. I like very much the, the attractiveness of the... I think she's a Japanese dancer, isn't she? And that's a person with a lot of uh, muscles and energy and superwoman. And that was a great story she performed. I liked it. Under the choreography skills of James Cousins, dancers perform with great smoothness and energy while perfect match with the flow of music and sounds and the constant change of lighting. Moreover, the improvisational skill of dancers make the performance go beyond the original story, strongly impressing the audience. Theo mình thấy thì nhạc hay và các diễn viên múa thì biểu diễn cũng rất là hay và có thể liên hệ được đến câu chuyện rừng La Uy. Tuy nhiên là cũng có khá là nhiều cái sự biến tấu từ câu chuyện chứ không phải là hoàn toàn bám chặt vào cái nội dung của câu chuyện. Even when contemporary dance has not yet become a popular art in Vietnam, gems and the talented dancers have already won the heart of the audience in Hanoi tonight. What do you think about the development of contemporary dance in the UK and what are the experiences that you think other countries might find useful for their own contemporary dance? In the UK we're very very fortunate. We have um, the, the arts are government funded. We can apply for funding to get support. So it allows us to, you know, allows me to hire dancers to pay pe like really exceptional dancers to come into the studio and work with me to, to develop them, to develop something. As well as just supporting the creation, they also support research, which in you know, I know pe people associate maybe research with science, but it's equally important in art. Um, in order for the art, to, you know, across all art forms, in order for it to move forward, you have to spend time, you know, researching and developing what, what it is you want to create and w how it's going to be new and how it's going to move forward. And so we're very fortunate they also support that. So what are your next destinations and uh, can you reveal some of your plans for the future? Once we finish here in Vietnam, we go to Indonesia for one week. Uh, after that we go return to the UK, uh, we have four shows there before then flying to Chile to finish off the tour. Next year the plan is to keep touring this show uh, while we develop a new, the new show um, that will probably be premiering in 2016. Thank you very much for joining us and we do look forward to be part of your next show, maybe in Vietnam. Thank you very much. <laughs>